Soraya here. So guys, we're going to be talking about Zeal, Valios, and the newly revealed Diablos from Standard D with a brand new game mechanic that's different than Overdress, which is really exciting. So Zeal's first skill is Auto VRR when placed from hand. If this unit is on V, minus your opponent's Vanguard by 5k for every single marker that they have on one of their circles. Zeal's second skill is an act on Vanguard circle once per turn. Counterblast one and put one or more rear guards of yours into your soul. And then you may minus your opponent's Vanguard by 10k. And then if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater and you have the grade two Zeal and soul, you get plus one drive for every two cards put into your soul. This is really good because the things that we rest with the grade two zeal, we're gonna be able to just put into soul if our opponent's at grade three and just get an extra drive for those units that we can't boost with anyway. So we're still technically going minus one because we're putting two units in to get plus one drive and we're losing a unit, but it gives us a little bit of extra advantage where we need it and it gives us a secondary skill to kind of just get a bunch of drives and in premium with Laurel it can be extremely scary if you're able to give it a bunch of drives and then recall a new hand and just go ham. So the first skill is really awesome as well because it works really great in tandem with the second skill by giving us free units to use for that secondary skill and then on top of that we get free units when he's placed on R as well and we get all of that for just doing what our deck already does plus punishing our opponent for spamming gifts, which is always a great thing, especially in V-Series because gift spam has become a problem. Overall, I just think Zeal is a great card. The entire lineup from the grade one to the grade two to the grade three, they are all absolutely amazing and it really upped the consistency of the Zeal line as well as making it actually threatening. It's so good to have Zeal back and have him be good, it way outweighed my expectations. I did not expect it to be this good, and I'm very, very happy and pleasantly surprised. So moving on to Valios, his first skill is an act, once per turn, on V, counter blast one, soul blast one, nag your opponent's vanguard by five, and then if they're grade three or greater, they cannot increase or decrease their power. Valios' second skill is an act on V, once per turn, Throw a copy of him, remove all markers from your circles, and then call up to five cards from your drop zone to R. So Valios' first skill is actually really good. Like just being able to lock your opponent at seven or eight, depending on what gift they play, is really amazing, especially since the old Valios locked them at 11. I am very sad though that Valios does not have the old skill that allowed you to call a unit and then draw a unit and then give that called unit plus two for a counter blast because that skill was really nice and it would have been nice to get something along that lines but maybe swapped out for a soul blast. So I don't like the second skill of Valios because it actively punishes you for getting advantage and it's inconsistent because you have to get two values out of four in your deck. Which is an issue because in card games, if the boss card is inconsistent with its advantage and needs to be more consistent than the deck needs to be, or if the boss card doesn't have any draw advantage, the deck is supposed to have draw advantage to make up for the lack of advantage in the boss card. But the entire deck doesn't. You swing for a bunch of low numbers, which doesn't matter if your opponent's at eight or seven because they can still chump block it because the numbers aren't high enough. And then on top of that, our searcher is an on hit, search the top three cards of your deck. That's bad. It doesn't even matter if it can boost something and that unit can hit for the top three search. If you're searching only three cards off the top, a good portion of the time, you are going to miss that search because it's very unlikely. And it really is sad because Valios' third skill is actually really good. Like being able to swing with a unit and then switch another unit with it at the end of the battle is great and really helps the deck get more attacks in. But like I said, the issue is that the deck has no draw advantage and it's inconsistent. So it's always gonna lose it's just gonna end up being a two tech in Revon, which makes me very sad as a Blue Wave player because I was excited to be able to finally play Blue Wave Premium and not being able to do that sucks, especially considering that he's one of the most two iconic units in Aqua Force. So Diablo's Violence Bruce's first skill is auto on Vanguard Circle at the start of your ride phase, you final rush. His second skill is auto on V when he attacks if you're in final rush then you get to Soul Blast 5 and stand 
all of your front row rear guards. What we can tell from the second skill already is that the deck is either going to soul charge or put cards from hand in a soul for the soul blast 5 effect. I honestly think they'll go with the soul charge route since DI is part of the same nation as dark states. So that would be really cool to see spike brothers be able to soul charge cards while also being able to soul blast and not having to put cards from your hand into your soul so that you can maintain some of your draw advantage which would be really nice. The first part of the skill kind of lets us know about this new mechanic final rush does it just activates it and then our other units get bonuses based on it and then along with Diablos we also got two more Diablos units so the Diablos is actually going to be a full archetype which is really cool so we'll start off with Diablos anger Richard so Richard's first skill is auto on V when he's placed you can put a rear guard into soul and draw a card and his second skill is continuous on R if you are in final rush he gets plus 5k Richard's first skill is really great because it's going to allow us to build up the soul while not losing hand advantage. And the second part is also really good as well because most of the time we're going to be going into final rush based on these three card reveals that I'm seeing right now. The second skill is really nice as well. Just having a 15k rear guard is really nice. Next up we got Diablos Bad Steven. Steven's first skill is that when placed on Vanguard Circle, grab a card from your soul, call it to the back row center rear guard circle, and then soul charge one. And Steven's second skill is exactly like Richard's second skill, continuous on our if you are in final rush, this unit gets plus 5k. The thing that makes this skill so great is you're getting a free unit, not losing any soul, and the cool thing is it ties in the soul charge from DI, which means we may possibly see some DI units. Spikes plus DI for the first start deck would be really freaking cool. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe for more card fight memes, card fight deck builds, and card fight reveal videos. And as always guys, let the wind blow.